Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to disable the AI buttons that you will now see on Google Chrome in the address bar, as you can see right here, and the one in the search box for the new tab page, as you can see right here. Although AI might come in handy for many different tasks, there are people that like a more traditional search experience on Google Chrome. So if you don't like to see these buttons, you won't find options in the actual settings of Google Chrome, but you can still disable them through the flags page. So let me show you that right now I'm on Google Chrome version 141. And then if we go to Chrome flags, we're going to open the advanced page to change experimental settings. And now on this page, we need to disable a few settings. I have a list of all the settings that we have to disable. So I'm going to copy this one. And I'm just going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to set the I mode open box entry point set to disabled then we're going to use the ai entry point disable on user input and we're going to set this to disable as well and we're also going to disable the omnibox allowed imo matches And then to disable the AI mode button that appear on the new tab page, we're going to disable the NTP compose entry point. Once you disable all those settings, just click the relaunch button. And then when you open a new tab, you're going to see that the address bar no longer includes an I mode button. And also you will see that the same AI button will now appear on the search box for the new tab page. And that's it. That is how you disable the AI mode buttons that appear on Google Chrome for Windows 11 and even for Mac OS. Now, it is important to know that these changes work for now, but it is unclear if in future releases, those settings will no longer be available on the flags page for the browser. Now, let me know in the comments if these steps work for you and let me know why you're trying to disable this feature on your web browser. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.